All right, if you have a high school student in the house this morning, this week is probably a stressful one for you and for them. They have AP tests, final exams, there's graduation. A lot of pressure for students to not just do well, but to be at the top of their class. Chris Davis joining us now. Chris, a student in Georgetown, taking the class rank system, taking it on, in a new short film, right? Yeah, that's right. So this student, uh, her name is Ashley Reed. She wrote and directed this short film actually for a class at Georgetown High School. And the film is called Ranked, and she is screening it tonight at the school, but it's already getting attention at the Georgetown Film Festival and at the Pegasus Film Festival in Dallas. I made this short film because I wanted to draw from what I know and what I thought would have an important message. She knows it because Ashley Reed lives it. You feel that pressure in every test you take and every assignment you turn in and every night you spend studying. You're number 15, right? Uh, yeah, and you're number nine? Yeah. Ashley recruited yeah, classmates to star in the project. We never learn their names, just their ranks. So we see them meet and they agree to study in the library. Uh, that'd be great. It turns violent. First, um, ostensibly, as a study technique. I don't know. <laughs> then, as raw emotion. I'd never directed an action scene before, but I really liked how it turned out. The physical beating, Ashley says, is a reflection of the mental beating students give themselves. Here, I just graded it. Even for a score of 80 on a test. We were talking about that earlier. We would love an 80, <laughs> you know, when we were in high school. But uh, an 80 to them is like a failing grade. Weston Coleman teaches at the school and acts in the short film. It was a real emotional scene for me because I could see that look in the actress's face, and you see that all the time. Excuse me. Ashley says grades, doing well in high school, those are important. But she wants to show her classmates there are more important things. It's not worth risking your mental health for. So it's not an easy impulse to overcome thinking about your rank all the time. Ashley says she still thinks about hers even while she was making this oh, wow. film about not focusing on it. But she says she is finding a better balance. And the reality is, is that it does play a role when it comes to college admissions because that's where the stress comes in. That's right. And uh, your GPA is still important to colleges, and that's also typically what determines class rank. So take Texas specifically. The top 10% of students in each school in each graduating class are guaranteed admission to Texas public universities, except at UT. They're even more selective. They take up to the top 7% of students automatically, and valedictorians, those who are ranked number one in their graduating class, they get free tuition for a year at any public university in the state. I have a friend who is a longtime teacher, does some public speaking now on this topic, and he says parents often don't realize how much pressure they're putting on the kids and the adverse effects that that's having as well. Yeah, Chris, thank it's you very much. It's a complicated problem. Thank you, Chris.